I ain't gonna lie. When it comes to New Balance and Joe Fresh Goods, <laughs> he don't miss. As y'all can see, this Supreme Tea here, America Eats is Young. This is where Joe Fresh Goods got the idea to do the outro, the intro, and the Keisha Blue New Balance 1998s. This iconic scene right here is the intro of Belly, where they go inside the club and they rob in the bank. This could have been the Keisha Blue look too, but the outro's in all black, which it should be, the intro all white, and then you got the Keisha Blues. Aww. I couldn't get my hands on the Keisha Blues because I think that was like Chicago only, you know, I'm from New York, but I would have been on them. But the black joints is fire to me, man. It has that intro, outro vibe, patent leather hits, black and white. This new balance silhouette is underrated also. 1998 was a good year. Hit the B-roll. man i appreciate everybody man i'm your boy sneaker notes man thanks for watching today we are doing a 4k review on the joe fresh goods new balance 1998 outro i love the keisha blues but the outros are dope too man so yeah the intro is white as you know when a movie starts it should be white outro the movie does go black and then in the middle of the movie you had a scene with keisha if you don't know, that's the same character from, um, is that King of New York? I can't remember. But yeah, she has an iconic scene in all blue. Can't really show y'all. This is not for YouTube. But that was dope, man. Joe Fresh Goods doesn't miss when it comes to New Balance. I gave y'all a review with a uh, pink cookie joints. I, I should have kept those. Those was fire. But we got the outros here, man. You know we don't do too much talking here at Sneaker Notes. Let's unbox them. Hit the music. Unboxing time. Yes, sir. So you get an all black New Balance box. Looks like a Nike or Kobe box, to be honest. Um, But that's dope. The big MB on it. The side, you got Joe Fresh Goods or JFG New Balance. And I think it says made in USA for over 75 years. That's on both sides. And it reads, uh, Lifestyle U990JS4. Um, no color code, but you do have the JFK in the 1998 there. When you flip open the lid, it's a it's a squeeze to open this box, man. It's like a um like an Apple product. So in there you get some words and it says uh with over 75 years authentic American craftsmanship, New Balance made in USA. Whole bunch of stuff. And at the top, instead of some white tissue papers, you do get that, I guess that scene from Belly with the money in the blue. So you got like a $20 bill there. Uh, yeah, a couple of 20s. And some uh, blue looking, you know, like a, like a movie light look. After that, you get the regular New Balance. Tissue paper made in USA. I'm trying to see if I see JFG. Yeah, and you get the JFG logo with it. Here's the left shoe of the New Balance 1998 outro, man. Out the box, I fell in love with this sneaker, man. The black is where the black should be, and the white is where the white should be. And then sometimes you get some glossy hits on a black. I really like this. So, like, I think I'm going to like any new balance in this silhouette um, because I just like it, man. It looks like Balenciaga bit off this already. This is dope. So, on the back tab, you get the JFG logo. Nice and settled. Very neat. The whole sneaker is a new buck suede, but the nice new buck suede. You know, like, it's popping out at you, man. Very clean new buck suede. Kind of looks like zebra a little bit. In some cases, like where it's very abrased. If you look here, it's very abrased there, like the khaki um Travis Sixes. 
Start with the toe box, all white, mesh look. This is going to get dirty fast, guys. Got to spray it with the Crepe Protect, but I like it. I wish they put like a, I don't know, like a clear coating over it, but all white, new buck hits on the front of the sneaker. And new buck hits, mesh white hits on the front of the sneaker, surrounded by a whole bunch of new buck all the way through. Both sneakers, right and left, comes with this new balance tag. I, I, that's very rare, but both of them come with the tag, guys. So if you're trying to spot the fakes, maybe they both won't come with the tag. In the middle of the sneaker, you get the new balance um, in there. It doesn't look like it reflects. I wish they'd have put the black patent leather on this too, but I guess since it's on the black new book suede, it didn't really fit. You get two white mesh looks again on both sides of the new balance. And then the mesh hits again over near the sock liner, closer to the ankles. The back of the sneaker has the title of the sneaker, 1998. And like a, and it's like a, what you call this? Like, it's like an outro. Like, the color's inside, but the sneaker's all white with the inside in there like that. And the bottom says, Made in USA, with a New Balance logo there. And also New Balance again at the bottom where the technology is. The inside of the sneaker looks just like the outside, the end with the mesh hits, but this one is a little bigger as we bring it around. Those two are the same size in the inside. You get a big one and then a little same one as the one on the other side. The bottom has the new balance silhouette. Nothing's changed there. No Drake, no JFG, Joe Fresh Goods branding there. So really the only branding we get is this JFG here on the, on the back tab. And even on the tongue, it just says 990V. That's the silhouette of the New Balance with the Made in USA um, flag that we always see on New Balance. The, the tongue is all mesh white, just like the front of the sneaker. It's going to be hard to keep this clean. The inside, black, New Balance logo with the New Balance name. No JFG logo in again. And real subtle, you can see this here, it says Endurance with the New Balance in. This is the right shoe, and I see end cap there. I remember seeing end cap on the, um, the JFG pink cookie joints too. I guess that's the name of the technology. I'm not really like the master of New Balance. In the comment section below, let me know what that end cap mean if you catch it. But from right to left, everything as the same. As I told you, they both have the tag. New Balance 1998. This is the only JFG branding you get is here. Oh, and on the left side, the inside has the JFG. So the right side has the New Balance logo. The left side says JFG, guys. Yes, sir. So New Balance always been a staple of the community, but this year they kind of like really earned my respect and showed me they could really go toe to toe with Nike. They had some of the best collabs in the last two years. Um, in my top 10 sneakers, I, I, I put the concept um, C-Nos joints up there, but I probably should have found the JFG one that could have went up, went up there too. But this is dope, man. Outro, intro, Keisha Blue. They always dope to me, um, but the Keisha Blue is the prize, I feel like. But these black ones can go with anything, and they, and they dope to me, man. Um, I paid $220 for them. Um, I won them in the um, EQL raffle about three weeks ago. They didn't ship until they finally came out on the Joe Fresh Good website a couple of days ago. But I, I was waiting on them anyway. I, wasn't, I had so much other fire to show y'all. I really wasn't um, like pressing them, but... Did take a while to ship, man. But um, right now, Gold Stock X have these for about three thirty to like, to like three hundred to three thirty. Um, the sneakers dope, but I feel like they're gonna restock. Um, so I feel like prices will go around retail if they restock. If they don't, then they're gonna stay around that three hundred to three fifty price range. Let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Everybody, get rich.